while there's a silent thief that stalks humanity. It doesn't steal your possessions, your home, or your money. It steals the very essence of who you are, your memories, your personality, the recognition in a loved one's eyes. This thief has many names, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, but its method is often the same. Hi, I'm Dr. Mike. For decades, the approach to these devastating neurodegenerative conditions has been largely reactive, focused on managing symptoms and, as some would say, managing the decline. But what if we could shift from defense to offense? What if, instead of just patching the leaks, we could reinforce the foundation itself? Today, we're delving into a remarkable peptide known as SS31, or alum ipritide. Before we proceed, it's crucial to understand the following. This is not meant to treat, diagnose, cure, and is purely for entertainment. Research peptides are not for human or veterinary use. Use extreme caution when entering the gray market and arm yourself with knowledge. To understand the significance of SS31, we first need to shrink down to the cellular level. Imagine every single one of the trillions of cells in your body as a bustling, thriving metropolis. Inside each of these cities, there are power plants. These are your mitochondria. These power plants are metabolic workhorses. They take in fuel, the oxygen you breathe, the nutrients from your food, and through a complex process called the electron transport chain, they churn out the energy currency of life, adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. This ATP is what powers every single action, thought, and heartbeat. But this energy production process isn't perfectly clean. It creates a byproduct, an exhaust fume, known as reactive oxygen species, or ROS. You might know them by their more common name, free radicals. Now, a healthy cell has a cleanup crew of antioxidants to manage this exhaust. However, as we age and through exposure to stress and environmental toxins, the production of these exhaust fumes can spiral out of control. The cleanup crew gets overwhelmed. This excess exhaust then begins to damage the very machinery inside the power plant, the mitochondrial membrane itself. When the walls of the power plant weaken, energy output plummets. The city experiences a brownout. Lights flicker. Communication breaks down. This fundamental process is known as mitochondrial decay, and it is a foundational theory of aging. This is especially catastrophic in the brain. Your neurons are the most energy-demanding cells in the entire body. They are the supercharged metropolises of your internal world. When their power plants begin to fail, the entire grid is at risk of collapse. This, at its core, is neurodegeneration. For years, the popular solution has been to simply consume more antioxidants, eat more blueberries, take more vitamin C. This is the equivalent of sending more street sweepers to clean up the smog after it's already blanketed the city. It's a losing game because it doesn't fix the source of the problem. This is where SS31 enters the picture. SS31 is not another street sweeper. It's a master engineer that doesn't just clean the exhaust. It goes directly to the leaky pipe in the power plant and repairs it at the source. SS31 is a tiny four amino acid peptide with a very unique property. It possesses a specific electrical charge. This charge gives it an incredible affinity for one place and one place only, the inner mitochondrial membrane. This is the very wall of the power plant that's breaking down. It bypasses the cell membrane and the outer mitochondrial membrane, barriers that stop many other molecules, and homes indirectly on this leaky damaged infrastructure. Once it arrives, it performs two critical tasks with laser-like precision. First, it scavenges reactive oxygen species at the source. It literally sits right at complex one and complex four of the electron transport chain, the precise locations where most of these damaging fumes are created, and neutralizes them the moment they are generated. This isn't damage control, it's damage prevention of the highest order. It's like installing a perfect catalytic converter on every exhaust pipe before a single puff of smoke can escape. The second thing it does is stabilize a crucial component called cardiolipin. Cardiolipin is a unique phospholipid found exclusively in the inner mitochondrial membrane. Think of it as the specialized mortar or glue that holds the protein complexes of the electron transport chain in their precise arrangement. When oxidative stress damages cardiolipin, this entire energy production assembly line begins to fall apart. The structural integrity is compromised, leading to further energy failure. 
SS31 binds directly to cardiolipin, protecting it from oxidative damage and helping to restore its structural integrity. It's not just patching a leak, it's reinforcing the entire foundation of the power plant. The results of these two actions are profound. The mitochondrial membrane potential stabilizes, proton leakage stops, a TP production skyrockets. The city's power grid comes back online, stable and strong. The lights, representing your nervous system, burn brightly once again. So how does this play out in the context of specific diseases? Let's consider Alzheimer's. Uh, the well-known hallmarks are amyloid beta plaques and tau tangles. But these are increasingly understood to be symptoms, not the root cause. The real problem is a deep-seated neuronal energy failure. When SS31 enters these struggling neurons and recharges their mitochondria, it provides the immense energy needed for the cell's own cleanup crews, a process called autophagy, to begin clearing out the amyloid and tau garbage. It gives the neuron the resources it needs to do its job and repair itself. Studies have demonstrated that this can lead to restored synaptic function and improved memory performance in preclinical models of Alzheimer's. It addresses the energy crisis that allows the pathology to develop in the first place. Now, let's look at Parkinson's disease here. The primary victims are the dopamine-producing neurons in a region called the substantia nigra. These are incredibly metabolically active cells, making them exceptionally vulnerable to mitochondrial collapse. When the energy supply fails in these neurons, a protein called alpha-synuclein misfolds and clumps together into toxic aggregates known as Lewy bodies, leading to cell death. This loss of dopamine-producing cells is what causes the characteristic tremors and rigidity of Parkinson's. SS31 can target these specific neurons, preserving their mitochondrial function and preventing the catastrophic cell death. It acts like a suit of armor for your brain's dopamine producers, shielding them from the energy crisis that triggers their demise. In amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, the tragedy is the death of motor neurons. These are the command lines from the brain to the muscles. As they die off, the connection is severed, leading to progressive muscle weakness and paralysis. Once again, mitochondrial dysfunction and oxidative stress are central drivers of this entire disaster. The sheer length and energy requirements of motor neurons make them highly susceptible to these insults. By providing powerful neuroprotection at the mitochondrial level, SS31 can support the survival of these long, energy-intensive neurons, potentially slowing the progression of the disease by addressing the core energy deficit. In every one of these cases, and in many other neurodegenerative conditions, SS31 addresses the universal root of the problem, the cellular energy crisis. But what if we could build a more comprehensive, synergistic approach? To move from mitigation to true regeneration, a single instrument is powerful, but a full orchestra can be transformative. Let's explore a hypothetical framework, a symphony of biologics working in concert with SS31 as a foundational piece. First, we have cerebrolysin. This is a peptide mixture derived from purified porcine brain proteins. It mimics the action of natural neurotrophic factors like BDNF, which are essentially fertilizer for your brain. While SS31 fixes the power plant, cerebrolysin comes in to construct new buildings and highways, promoting the growth of new neurons and connections. Next is Matsi. This is a fascinating mitochondrial-derived peptide. It acts as a crucial communication signal between the mitochondria and the cell's nucleus, helping to fine-tune metabolism and the cellular stress response. It works in perfect harmony with SS31. Once SS31 has repaired the energy infrastructure, MOTC capitalizes on that restored power, ensuring the cell uses it with maximum efficiency. You can take them together, SS31 fixes the hardware, and MOTC optimizes the software. We also have to address systemic metabolic health, a huge driver of neuroinflammation. A peptide like retitrutide addresses this by improving glucose metabolism, reducing body fat, which can be a source of inflammatory cytokines, and enhancing insulin sensitivity. You cannot heal a brain that is sitting in an inflammatory environment. Retitrutide effectively starves the inflammation that fuels neurodegeneration, creating a clean, anti-inflammatory environment in which the brain can begin to properly heal. With power restored and inflammation quenched, we can enhance communication. Phenyl peracetam, an advanced nootropic, upregulates acetylcholine receptors. This is like upgrading the communication towers in our cellular city for faster processing speed, sharper focus, and better memory recall, but you can't amplify a signal that isn't there. Phenyl peracetam needs raw material. Alpha GPC provides a highly bioavailable form of choline, the essential precursor to acetylcholine. 
This ensures the brain has the building blocks it needs to support enhanced cognitive function. We can't forget the delivery system. The dynamic duo BPC-157 and TB-500 are master healers. They reduce systemic inflammation and crucially help heal a compromised blood-brain barrier. They also promote angiogenesis, the growth of new blood vessels, ensuring all these other powerful compounds can be delivered efficiently to the brain. They are the logistics experts fixing the roads so the supply convoys can reach the metropolis that needs them most. Then there's the grand orchestrator, GHK Copper. This copper peptide is a master modulator, influencing the expression of thousands of genes. It dials down inflammation, activates restorative stem cells, and promotes profound tissue remodeling. It helps ensure all these regenerative processes work in harmony. Finally, we have methylene blue. At low doses, it acts as an electron cycler in the mitochondria. It can create a bypass around traffic jams or damage at complex one, helping to directly crank out more ATP. It provides a temporary jumpstart that works synergistically with SS31's long-term structural repairs. Now this raises an important question. What if you aren't currently experiencing neurodegenerative issues? The reality is, these processes often begin decades before the first noticeable symptom appears. This is where we talk about proactive defense. Using a combination like SS31 and MOTC proactively is like building the ultimate insurance policy. You are reinforcing the most critical and vulnerable energy system in your body against the inevitable assaults of aging. The goal is not just to extend your lifespan, but to ensure your health span matches it. You are compressing morbidity. This is about ensuring you remain sharp, vibrant, and fully you all the way to the end. It's about engineering resilience into your biology rather than waiting to treat disease after it has already taken hold. To truly appreciate the magic here, let's walk through the repair process in real time. Picture a neuron on life support. The roof is leaking. That's a permeable mitochondrial membrane. The machinery is rusted, oxidized proteins. The power is flickering, low ATP. The very first step is immediate triage, restoring the membrane potential. The first sign of a dying neuron is the collapse of this mitochondrial membrane potential. It's the electrical charge gradient that acts as the battery powering ATP production. When it fails, everything downstream fails. SS31's unique electrical charge allows it to integrate directly into the inner membrane, instantly stabilizing this gradient. This restoration of power is the critical first step. It stops the active dying process in its tracks. Next, you have to stop the executioner. When the mitochondrial membrane is damaged, it leaks a protein called cytochrome C. The release of cytochrome C into the cell's cytoplasm is the key that unlocks an irreversible biochemical suicide sequence for the cell, known as apoptosis. By sealing the membrane and stabilizing cardiolipin, SS31 effectively locks cytochrome C inside the mitochondria where it belongs. The cell's death warrant is torn up. The execution is called off. With the immediate crisis averted, it's time to clean up the mess. A process called autophagy is the cell's internal recycling and repair system. It breaks down and removes damaged proteins and organelles. But an energy-starved neuron cannot perform autophagy effectively. It's left sitting in its own garbage. The massive restoration of ATP production by SS31 unleashes this cleanup crew. The damaged, fragmented mitochondria and toxic protein aggregates are tagged, bagged, and removed. The factory floor is swept clean, preparing it for rebuilding. Now we must reestablish communication. Neurons talk across synapses using neurotransmitters, primarily glutamate. A damaged, energy-starved neuron loses its ability to regulate glutamate, causing it to spill out and dangerously overstimulate neighboring neurons, a toxic process called excitotoxicity. With its power restored, the neuron can fuel its glutamate reuptake pumps, cleaning up the synapse. This ends the toxic crosstalk and allows for normal, healthy signaling to resume. The fiber optic lines are running again. The final phase is regeneration specifically axonal regeneration. A neuron's axon is the long, thin cable it uses to send signals, sometimes over very long distances. Uh, maintaining this structure and transporting vital supplies down its length requires a colossal amount of energy. In neurodegeneration, this transport system breaks down due to energy failure. Uh, the axon, starved of supplies, withers and dies back. This is known as axonopathy. 
the huge ATP boost from SS31 re-energizes these molecular motors. The supply lines are reopened, the pipeline is repaired, the axon can now begin to repair and regenerate itself, re-establishing lost connections. And finally, we change the software. Chronic mitochondrial stress sends a constant signal to the cell nucleus that says, we are under attack. Shift all resources to survival mode. This alters gene expression in a detrimental way, prioritizing short-term survival over long-term repair and function. By resolving the mitochondrial crisis, SS31 changes this signal. The message to the nucleus becomes, the crisis is over. We have abundant energy, return to normal operations. This promotes the expression of genes for growth and repair while silencing the genes for inflammation and apoptosis. It's a hard reboot of the cell's entire operating system, shifting it from a state of managed decline to a state of active regeneration. This isn't masking symptoms. This is a fundamental cellular recalibration and rehabilitation. It works on the principle that your cells, as long as they are alive, possess the innate capacity to regenerate. They simply need the energy to do so. You are providing the absolute energy prerequisite for every single self-healing mechanism that the neuron possesses. You are giving it the power to do what it was designed to do, fix itself. This is how you bring a neuron back online. The science is here and it's advancing every day. Cognitive decline is not an inevitability. It's a biological process that like any other, can potentially be understood and addressed at its core. The choice is whether to accept the old dogma of inevitable decay or to embrace a new paradigm of proactive biological reinforcement. You are not meant to simply fade away. You are meant to burn brightly, to be a source of wisdom, experience, and vitality until the very last moment. The tools to build a more resilient future are within reach. If you found this information valuable, please support the channel by liking this video and subscribing for more content on the cutting edge of health science. And don't forget to sign up for our newsletter, the link for which is in the description below this video, to stay updated on the latest breakthroughs. Thank you for watching. Stay curious and never stop learning. To recap, SS31's power lies in its dual action mechanism. It not only neutralizes harmful free radicals, but also structurally reinforces the mitochondrial membrane, the very source of cellular energy. This restoration of energy is the key that unlocks the body's own profound healing capabilities, from clearing out cellular debris to rebuilding damaged neural connections. The potential impact on neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections, is particularly exciting, suggesting a path toward not just preserving function, but actively enhancing it. Remember, this approach works at the level of gene expression, encouraging your cells to switch from a defensive, survival-oriented program to one of growth, repair, and optimal function. In our modern world, our mitochondria are under constant assault. Proactive strategies to support their health are becoming less of a luxury and more of a necessity for long-term wellness. The elegance of SS31 is its simplicity and specificity. This small peptide is a testament to how a highly targeted intervention can have a massive and widespread positive effect on cellular health. While much of this research is still evolving, the data points towards a future where we have far more control over the aging process than previously thought possible. The ultimate goal is a lifetime of cognitive clarity and physical vitality, and understanding the science behind mitochondrial health is a critical step on that journey.